When sharing SOLIDWORKS assemblies and collaborating with other members of your design team, you may run across this unfortunate situation. You go to open the assembly, and then you get this message. Now this is just SOLIDWORKS way of telling you that the files it needs for this particular assembly, the referenced parts, are not all there. Either the file location was changed, the name might have been changed, or perhaps someone just didn't give you all the parts you need. One way to get around this is to use large design review so you can still open and view the assembly file. To do this, I select the assembly file and then choose large design review from the mode selection box. Large design review was added in 2012 and it is a great way to load very large assemblies so that you can view them in 3D space, take section views and even measurements. It's perfect for a review meeting, but it doesn't just have to be used for large assemblies made up of thousands and thousands of parts. As you can see here, I can also leverage large design review so I can open an assembly without having all the referenced parts. So even though just the graphics data is loaded and the components aren't fully loaded into memory, I can still work with this model. As you can see, I can take measurements, create section views, and also load snapshots. Snapshots are a great tool you can use for assemblies not just in large design review, but also if they're lightweight or fully resolved. A snapshot creates the state of the graphics area just like a custom named view, except that a snapshot will save not just the camera orientation, but also the hide or show state of the parts as well. By using large design review this way, I'm able to overcome one of the most common hurdles when working with SOLIDWORKS assemblies.